Mayor Adams engaged in a long-running conspiracy in which he solicited and knowingly accepted illegal campaign contributions. In a bombshell series of events, New York City Mayor Eric Adams is facing the biggest political and legal fight of his life as federal prosecutors have charged him with bribery, fraud, and accepting illegal foreign campaign donations linked to Turkey. Damian Williams, the U.S. attorney for the Southern District of New York, alleged that Adams took over $100,000 in graft in exchange for using his influence to benefit Turkish interests. Despite the gravity of the charges, Adams is standing his ground, declaring his innocence and refusing to resign, even as his once-promising political career faces the possibility of collapse. The unsealed indictment, made public on Thursday morning following a search of Adams' official residence, Gracie Mansion, paints a damning picture of the mayor's dealings. The investigation, which began in 2021, alleges that Adams had been involved in illegal activities dating back to his time as Brooklyn Borough President. Williams did not mince words, stating, this was a multi-year scheme to buy favor with a single New York City politician on the rise, Eric Adams. Year after year, he kept the public in the dark. The indictment further revealed that Adams accepted luxury travel, including Turkish Airlines tickets, accommodations, and meals, all while pressuring New York City officials to approve projects favorable to Turkey, even at the expense of public safety. Adams, a former police captain who campaigned on a platform to reduce crime and restore order in City Hall, has vehemently denied the charges. Speaking at a raucous news conference outside Gracie Mansion, Adams portrayed himself as the victim of a politically motivated attack. I ask New Yorkers to wait to hear our defense, he said, urging patience and asking the public to reserve judgment. His defiance was evident as he proclaimed that he would not step down, despite calls from various elected officials and hecklers demanding his resignation. If convicted on all five counts of bribery and fraud, Adams could face up to 45 years in prison. However, under federal sentencing guidelines, his punishment would likely be far less severe. Adams' legal team has already moved to delay his arraignment, initially scheduled for Friday, in hopes of preparing a strong defense against the accusations. As details of the indictment emerged, it became clear that Adams' alleged misconduct is intricately tied to his relationship with Turkey. The indictment points to Adams accepting lavish gifts from wealthy Turkish individuals and government officials, including free and discounted flights on Turkish airlines, even for trips where it was inconvenient such as a flight to France in 2017 with an unnecessary stop in Istanbul. Prosecutors also claim Adams attempted to conceal the gifts, making it seem as though he had paid for them when in reality, their total value exceeded $100,000. One of the most shocking allegations is that Adams used his position to pressure the New York Fire Department into approving the construction of a new Turkish consulate building in Manhattan, despite serious fire safety issues. A fire department official overseeing the assessment claimed that he was threatened with losing his job if he didn't comply with Adams' demands. The official ultimately capitulated, allowing the building to open in time for a visit from Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, who attended the ribbon-cutting ceremony. On Thursday morning, federal agents executed a search warrant at Gracie Mansion, focusing on Adams' electronic devices. Several of the mayor's devices, including his phone and iPad, were seized. The investigation into Adams has been a long time in the making, with federal authorities scrutinizing his actions for over a year. The FBI first raided the home of Adams' chief fundraiser in 2022, signaling the beginning of a series of federal probes into Adams' administration. Adams' administration has been plagued by numerous resignations and federal investigations, and his political future is hanging in the balance. While some have speculated that he could be removed from office by Governor Kathy Hochul, who is currently reviewing the charges, Adams remains defiant, comparing his plight to that of New York City's first black mayor, David Dinkins. Adams has drawn parallels between his struggles and those of Dinkins, claiming that political forces are working to turn his base of black and brown voters against him, just as they did to Dinkins in the 1990s. Adams' defense has focused not only on his innocence but also on his belief that he is being targeted because of his criticism of the federal government's handling of the migrant crisis in New York City. In a video message released on Wednesday, Adams directly linked his indictment to his vocal opposition to federal immigration policies. Despite our pleas, when the federal government did nothing as its broken immigration policies overloaded our shelter system with no relief, I put the people of New York before party and politics, Adams said. This rhetoric has resonated with some of Adams' supporters, who believe the mayor is being unfairly targeted for standing up to the Biden administration. 
Notably, billionaire hedge fund manager Bill Ackman took to X, formerly Twitter, to defend Adams, writing that the mayor deserved to be presumed innocent and suggesting that the charges could be an example of the weaponization of our country's prosecutorial resources. Ackman argued that Adams' bold stance on the migrant crisis made him a target within the Democratic Party. Even former President Donald Trump weighed in, stating that he believed Adams had been indicted because of his outspoken criticism of the migrant crisis. However, not everyone is convinced by Adams' defense. New York City Comptroller Brad Lander, who is expected to run for mayor in the next election, dismissed Adams' claims as preposterous, accusing the mayor of sowing distrust in government institutions. Lander called Adams' suggestion that the White House influenced his indictment utterly ridiculous and warned that such comments only fueled public cynicism. While Adams faces an uphill battle to clear his name, the indictment has revealed a slew of shocking details about his dealings with Turkish officials. According to sources, one of the more outlandish moments came when Adams attempted to book a flight to Istanbul just days after winning the Democratic primary for mayor in 2021. An aide messaged the general manager of Turkish Airlines in New York, inquiring about the cost of the trip. The manager initially suggested charging the mayor a mere $50, which the aide rejected, insisting that the price be more realistic to avoid media scrutiny. Adams ultimately paid $2,200 for the tickets, but they were upgraded to business class, and the total cost of the flights would have exceeded $15,000. In another bizarre twist, Adams allegedly received more than $100,000 in travel benefits from Turkish interests between 2016 and 2022, including free business class tickets for a trip to Ghana, which featured a nine-hour layover in Istanbul. During the layover, Turkish officials treated Adams and his romantic partner to a luxury dinner, chauffeured in a BMW. The trip, billed as a spiritual journey, was largely paid for by Turkish Airlines. Perhaps the most damning aspect of the indictment is the revelation that Adams accepted foreign donations for his 2021 mayoral campaign. Prosecutors allege that Adams met with Turkish businessmen in a private room at a high-end New York restaurant to discuss fundraising efforts. One businessman offered to raise additional foreign contributions for Adams' future campaigns if the mayor agreed to visit Turkey and meet with influential figures there. According to the indictment, Adams welcomed the offer. The investigation has unearthed numerous troubling incidents, including Adams allegedly accepting birthday gifts from foreign donors and even agreeing to remain silent on the topic of the Armenian genocide at the request of Turkish officials. Prosecutors allege that in 2022, as Armenian Genocide Remembrance Day approached, Adams was urged not to make any public statements about the event, a sensitive issue for the Turkish government. Adams complied and remained silent. As the investigation into Adams continues, it has become clear that his ties to Turkey run deeper than initially thought. Prosecutors allege that Adams made a concerted effort to hide his communications with Turkish officials, often instructing aides to delete incriminating messages. The indictment even includes a surreal moment where Adams claimed he couldn't remember the password to his personal phone after it was seized by the FBI, raising suspicions that he was attempting to obstruct the investigation. With the indictment now unsealed, Adams faces the fight of his life, both in court and in the public eye. His political career, once seen as a promising success story for a former police captain who rose to become mayor of the nation's largest city, is now in serious jeopardy. If Adams is convicted, the ramifications could extend far beyond his administration, potentially reshaping the political landscape of New York City. As the federal investigation continues to unfold, Playful Parade has learned that Adams' inner circle is being scrutinized, with several high-ranking officials under investigation. Phones belonging to members of Adams' administration, including his school's chancellor and deputy mayor, have been seized, suggesting that the probe is far from over. For now, Mayor Eric Adams remains defiant, insisting that he is the target of a politically motivated attack. Whether that defense will hold up in court remains to be seen. What is clear, however, is that this scandal is far from over, and the fallout could have lasting consequences for New York City's leadership and its citizens. Thank you for watching. Smash a like on this video, comment, share and subscribe to us today. You are appreciated over here. This did not surprise us that we reached this day.